using StatDisk for contingency tables. This video uses example three from section 11-3 titled, Does the Choice of Treatment Affect Success? Begin by entering the observed frequencies in the StatDisk sample editor as they appear in the contingency table. In this example, we have entered the data from table 11-6 titled, Study of Success with Different Treatments for Stress Fracture. The number of successes for each treatment is contained in the first column, and the number of failures for each treatment is contained in the second column. Select Analysis from the top menu, then select Contingency Tables from the drop-down menu. In the dialog box, enter the desired significance level. In this example, we enter 0.05. Next, select the columns that contain the observed frequencies. In this example, we select columns 1 and 2. Click Evaluate and the results are displayed as shown. In this example, the test statistic equals 58.393 rounded and the p-value equals 0, 0.000 rounded. Because the p-value is less than the significance level of 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis of independence between success and treatment. If using the critical value method of hypothesis testing, we find the test statistic of 58.393 is greater than the critical value of 7.815. Because the test statistic does fall within the critical region, we reject the null hypothesis of independence between success and treatment.